Hey guys, Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are here at Sick Week, day two in Orlando, Florida. And I'm joined by Reggie Moore and his 1930 Ford Model A with a 454 in it. And it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builder's Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrave, Precision Performance Pengrave, always the original green oil. Elring DOS Original, leading technology, leading service. And NPW and Engine and Performance Warehouse, for all your parts needs. Reggie, thanks for joining us this yeah, morning. Thanks for giving us some of your time before everyone leaves Orlando and gets yeah. up to Gainesville. I know that's the next stop, but wanted to know more about the 454 you got in this Model A. Um, so please let us know. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, I know there's some history to it. And, uh, you've had it for a while. Honestly, this is my junk motor. We built a really nice motor for it for uh, Rocky Mountain 1.0. Okay. In a, something messed up on the dyno so I had I mean, we were like two days before we had to leave and I had this motor I'd built about 10 years ago for a dually and then I got rid of the dually so he was just sitting in the shops got yeah. got dish pistons in it man we'll probably got 200 horsepower here and, but uh yeah so we put that in there we run uh, all the Rocky Mountain well 1.0 and 2.0 and then this is our first time here of course but yeah that's great and that you were telling me that the car itself has been around for a while. Yeah. Obviously, it's an old car itself, but you've owned yeah, it. Yeah, the car is 90 years, years old, yeah. and uh, I bought it when I was 12 years old with my paper out money, so I've had it for 50 years. <laughs> That's crazy. That's so, so cool. Uh, yeah, and I went home uh, from school with a buddy of mine, John Burnett, and saw all these cars. His dad had a whole yard full of Model A's, man. And even at 12 years old, man, I was I was all messed up. <laughs> I talked to his dad. He said, "Yeah, I'll sell you one." <laughs> so we did, man. And That's it's just great. been kind of moving around as I grew up. Stayed at my folks' house, and I finally jumped on it about 18 years ago. And We've been running it wide open ever since and having a good time, man. Yeah, that's great. Did about 14 or 15 uh, hot rod reunions in a row with it. Just a lot of stuff, man. The kids had kind of grow up all around it. Yeah, yeah. Now, Reggie, you mentioned you got some dish piston, pistons in here. Um, you want to walk us through what else is in the engine? It's just a junk RV motor. Yeah. <laughs> That's what was funny. We're driving through Colorado on a 1.0, and I'm thinking, man, I hope I make it through here. And then I go, wait, I'm I'm in an RV missing 10,000 pounds, so I'll be all right. <laughs> Used a half a quart of oil the whole week. But uh, it's just a, it, it's honestly just a junk motor, man, and I stuck that intake on. But, but uh, Last week I did put a different camshaft in, roller cam, rockers, and lifters, and all that. So okay. that kind of woke it up a little bit. But Very good. Getting and about 12, 13 miles to the gallon. So with my new, my overdrive tires. Yeah. yeah. 32 inch. Lets me run about 65. Pretty comfortable. Okay. Very good. And then you got because I got that super. It's a super T10 uh, transmission, which is just a four speed. So there's no overdrive. Very good. Then you got the, the dual carburetors up top here. Yeah, a couple of carters. Yeah. And uh, how much horsepower do you think that you're just putting out? No. <laughs> I don't know. 350, man. No joke. Okay. I mean, it's, okay. a, it's a weak old motor. Yeah. Nothing and then like what I had in it. And so in comparison to what you did have in it, you know. Uh, what I did have, I could turn it over backwards. This one here, I'm only getting it up about that high. Mm -hmm. But now Friday, that's going to be a whole different thing with the trailer over in the parking lot. We'll see what, uh, we'll see the next week link in this thing. <laughs> well, you got some cool stacks here coming out that, you know, catches everyone's attention. I'm, I'm, yeah, I made them in about 20 minutes, man. I built yeah. this car in five days. I come in the house Sunday night and uh, I'd been collecting stuff all day Saturday and Sunday. We were trying to get to a rod run on Thursday. Uh, I stayed out there, started working on it Sunday night late, didn't go back in the house till Thursday night, man, had the whole car done. Yeah. Yeah. It, that was 18 years ago, man. I've just been putting a little stuff here and there on it. That's awesome. Now, uh, here at Sick Week, what, what kind of time are you getting out there on the track? Uh, I told them I'd keep it at 11.50 because I don't, I don't buy all that high dollar safety stuff, so I can't go too fast. Right, right. So uh, we, we wrote down 11.50 yesterday, so I ran 11.60. So okay. Yeah. I, I'll probably just stay right there all week. Yeah, sounds good. And then. Obviously, driving it on the street, not, not a problem for you. You're getting, no, you're getting it's an RV motor. Track pretty good. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. 
Dude. Well, Reggie, we appreciate you giving us some of your time. Yeah, thanks Walking for... us through this really cool car. Yeah, thanks cool. for it's coming out so to the history, show. Uh, you know, personally for you. Yeah, it's part of me for sure. Yeah. Well, again, thank you so much. Yeah. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you check out Engine Builder for more content. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.